Okay, now let us consider the response of RC high pass filter circuit when the input is a square wave. Okay, before we go ahead uh, quantitative analysis, okay, before we actually write the mathematical equations, right, uh, let us have a qualitative understanding of how does the output waveform is going to look like. Okay, so look at here. White colored curve is representing a square wave whose minimum value is V double dash and maximum value is uh, v dash and i have considered this point of time as t1 and this point of time as t2 so that from here to here it is capital t the time period of your square waveform okay i have represented my output with an orange colored uh, curve okay so this colored curve is nothing but your output waveform let us see how does this output waveform is going to look like I have started with my initial output voltage as V1 at T is equal to 0 seconds. Over the interval 0 to T1, okay, that is 0 plus 2 T1 minus, my input is a constant, that is a step input. Then my output takes the standard discharging equation. And at in particular at T is equal to capital T1, my output is denoted with V1 dash. At T is equal to T1 plus, suddenly there is a change in my input from V dash to V double dash because of which my output also suddenly changes from V1 dash to V2. So that V2 is given by V1 dash minus this particular length V. Okay. So this is the amount with which your input has got changed. So the output also has to change by the same amount. Okay. So that is why this V2 is given by V1 dash minus capital V. And after uh, uh, this V2, that is in between T1 to T2, right so in between t1 to t2 t1 plus and t2 minus then your input is again a constant a step input again your output is likely to take a standard discharge equation and in particular at t is equal to t2 this particular equation is denoted with v2 dash at t is equal to t2 over the interval t1 to t2 it is nothing but t is equal to t2 minus at t2 minus it is v2 dash so that at t2 plus what is my input is at t2 plus my input is suddenly changed from v double dash to v dash because of change in my input with a value of capital v there should be a change in my output also that is i need to add a capital v to this particular output that is v2 dash so v2 dash plus capital v is what is my v1 is okay so what are our observations our observations are my v2 is given by v1 dash minus capital v that is the first equation my v2 is after t1 that is t1 plus okay my v1 dash minus v now here this v2 dash is your t2 minus and my t1 t2 plus output is denoted by v1 so that my t2 plus output okay is given by following the same change whatever it is made at the input side from here to here what is the change in the input side we have made t2 minus is my v double dash t2 plus is my v dash how much is the change capital v t2 minus my output is v2 dash okay t2 minus my output is v2 dash how much is that i need to add i need to add plus v so that what is my output is my output is v1 okay so I have got two equations. One is V2 is equal to V1 dash minus V or V2 dash plus V is equal to V1. Okay. V2 dash plus V is equal to V1. Okay. Right. So when once I am able to find out what is V1, V1 dash, V2, V2 dash. Okay. Because it is a uh, periodic waveform, the same values are going to appear. Okay. So I need not find all the time. I will be considering only one cycle and thereby I will be for trying to find out what are the expressions for V1, V1 dash, V2, V2 dash. Okay, right? Okay. We will consider the output over two intervals. One is 0 to 
t1 another is t1 to t2 okay another is over the interval t1 to t2 so that because it is a periodic square waveform we it is keep on continuing for the next rest of the cycles okay over the interval 0 to t1 my output is given by okay what is my initial voltage initial voltage i have assumed with v1 it follows the standard discharge equation that is minus e power t by tau okay so over the interval 0 to t1 my output voltage takes the standard discharge equation because the initial output voltage i assumed is v1 it is v1 into e power minus t by tau at t is equal to capital t1 okay when i replace my t with capital t1 what is my output i am denoting my output with v1 dash so that my v1 dash is equal to v1 into e power minus capital t1 by tau okay so at t is equal to capital t1 over this interval t1 is nothing but t1 minus i am denoting that my output with v1 dash which is given by v1 into e power minus t1 by tau okay right okay now let us take the interval t1 to t2 this v2 is your initial voltage and it is going to take the standard discharge equation with the initial time capital t1 because in this time interval initial time is capital t1 divided by tau okay the key point is v2 what is v2 the initial output voltage that is at t1 plus at t1 plus it is v2 okay because there is a sudden change in your input so there is a corresponding change in your output which is given by v1 dash minus v right at t is equal to capital t so when i replace my t is equal to capital t i will be denoting my output with v2 dash okay i'll be denoting my output with v2 dash so v2 dash is equal to v2 into e power minus capital t2 by tau why capital t2 by tau because i have to replace my t with capital t capital t minus t1 is nothing but t2 okay is nothing but t2 so my v naught of capital t is equal to v2 dash is equal to v2 into e power minus t2 by tau okay all right okay okay so now let us consider a symmetrical square waveform okay so now let us consider a symmetrical square waveform so when i consider a symmetrical square waveform okay symmetrical square wave right the properties are t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t by 2 okay and moreover uh, v1 is equal to minus v2 or v1 dash is equal to minus v2 dash okay right now let us try to derive an expression for percentage tilt okay now let us try to derive an expression for percentage tilt okay there will be some tilt in the output waveform okay so if you try to observe your output waveform okay right if you try to observe your output waveform actually this is what is my input is but your output is taking this particular form your output is not following your input there is some tilt okay there is some error okay there is some error that you could see okay which is what is this error okay so we need to find an expression for this percentage tilt that is present in your output and on what factors does this tilt is going to depend on so that we will try to reduce this particular error present in your output waveform okay right percentage tilt is given by okay percentage tilt is given by v1 minus v1 dash by v by 2 into 100 percent okay so we need to get an expression for v1 v1 dash anyway this v is our peak to peak of the pulse okay right so let us try to get the expression for v1 and v1 dash so what is v1 and v1 dash is 
okay let me start with i know v2 is equal to i know v2 is equal to v1 dash minus capital v but what is v1 dash v1 dash is nothing but v1 into e power minus capital t1 by tau minus v okay but what is v2 for a symmetrical square wave form v1 is equal to minus v2 so v2 is equal to minus v1 so when i bring this minus v1 onto the right hand side and this minus v onto the left hand side what is that i can write v1 into 1 plus a power minus t1 by tau is equal to capital v okay is equal to capital v capital v by 1 plus e power minus t1 by tau okay what is v1 dash is v1 dash is given as v1 into a power minus t1 by tau but what is v1 is v1 is nothing but this okay you can substitute that capital v by 1 plus e power minus t1 by tau okay into e power minus t1 by tau okay so i got two equations one is for v1 another is for v1 dash t1 is equal to t2 is equal to okay capital t by 2 so when i replace my t1 with capital t by 2 when i replace my t1 with capital t by 2 capital t by 2 okay then i will be getting an expression for my v1 in terms of capital v and capital t v1 dash in terms of capital v and capital t right so now i'll substitute those values in this equation so that i'll be getting an expression for my percentage tilt right okay okay so when i substitute my v1 here it is v1 v1 dash here it is v1 dash divided by v by 2 into 100 percent okay so when i simplify i'll be getting this particular form okay what i'll be doing now is i'll be using an equation e power x you all know that what is e power x e power x is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus so on so in this equation i'll be taking only first two terms right what is x here actually minus t by 2 tau so when i assume that t by 2 tau is much less than 1 okay then i can make use of this particular e power x 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial and so on so now i am going to replace this exponential form in terms of 1 plus x where x is nothing but minus t by 2 tau okay right so when i substitute my exponential form taking the first two terms 1 plus x where x is minus t by 2 tau 1 plus x where x is minus t by 2 tau then i'll be getting this form okay so 1 1 gets cancelled capital t by 2 tau in the numerator and here 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus capital t by 2 tau okay right okay so now when i substitute those things okay i'll be getting of this particular form so when i take the two common 1 minus 1 by 2 into t by 2 tau so i'll cancel this two and this two so that i am left with capital t by 2 tau okay into 100 percent assuming that this particular term is negligible under what condition this term is very negligible when this tau is very very large compared to capital t then this term is being negligible okay then my percentage tilt is given by capital t by 2 tau so for the distortion to be very very less my tau has to be very very large okay right so this is the expression for your percentage tilt that is present in your output waveform okay right is this fine so i hope uh, you have understood well uh, this particular expression for percentage tilt which you could see in the case of rc high pass filter circuit okay so in tomorrow's class uh, we'll see one or two problems then we will follow with uh, rc high pass filter how it does it acts as a differentiator okay so thank you very much uh, see you next time thank you